Hey, Sean, if you would just talk to me about the offensive production today and your ability to continue to find ways to get open and make plays. Uh, it was kind of switching defenses around, so I was moving kind of back and forth from field to bounder. They was looking at different looks, trying to give me the ball, and they kind of figured out the right schemes and everything, and it played out, and everything fell into place. Okay, so for starters, can you take us through, I guess just both of your touchdowns, what you were seeing on those plays and how on the second one, the RPO, just how that really worked out so well? Uh, on the first one, we had ran it the first time. It was open. He tried to throw it, but he had got hit. So we came back with it the second time, and it was open again. And the same thing with the second one. It was open the first time, but he handed off the run so the safety could come down on it hard. And then we ran it back, and he did the exact same thing. So he pulled it and threw it. Hey, Sean, I mean, obviously that's had some good plays today, but also, you know, there's some you know, missed throws, things like that. So, like, the chemistry wasn't always there, I guess. Walk me through what you saw in that effort. I can't hear you. Go, uh, could you repeat it? Uh, what, do you, what, what kind of step did y'all think y'all took today? Every week you're supposed to take a step forward and improvement. Where do you think you improved today as far as a team? Uh, I kind of say our offense improved, and really our defense. Defense came out, played their heart out. I feel like offense, we played good. I mean, there's always room for improvement. We could have played better. But a big shout-out to the defense. Well, John, it seems like you always – Strive for excellence. Um, is it a case if you're happy to be one and zero? Improve. Oh, could you repeat it? It seems like you always strive for excellence and want to improve. Are you happy with the win, but also feel like you'd like to finish a little bit better than what you guys did? Yes, sir. I, I really like the win. I feel like we could have put up more points as an offense, but sometimes you just got to be grateful you won. Jay. Um, if you would just talk about being able to get back out on the field, how that felt for you. And then personally, as the game progresses and you understand what they're trying to do with the bend, don't break philosophy, the patience that you guys as defenders need to have to kind of just play that game plan and not try to do too much. Was that important to y'all to have success today? Yes, that was important to us. Um, as you can see, we were successful with it. And being back out there, I'm glad to be back out there. Man, it was, it was, I ain't like just saying that. It was boring. Jay, obviously, you know, last year against Mississippi State, you had to come back early from a, an injury to get, play in that game, and, and the defense just got burned. How satisfying is it today to a year later play them and, and actually defend this offense the way you would like to? Um, it feels good to beat them, play them while I'm full, fully healthy. But last year I struggled. And this year, I'm back healthy and came out on top. Yeah, hey, Jay, obviously, for you guys to be able to execute this kind of game plan, you guys needed to tackle very well in the secondary. And, you know, you and Dwight were both coming back from injury. I guess just kind of, you know, talk about y'all's ability to tackle so well with, uh, I guess, a short week of practice and, you know, being able to execute the game plan like that. We tackle so well because we were tackling drill every day. And we got to be perfect in tackling. Hey, Jay, uh, Sheldon Mickelson, the advocate of Baton Rouge. How did the uh, two turnovers you guys got in the first uh, quarter, I think they were both in the first quarter, from Cordell, uh, how did that lift the defense up and what did it do for you the rest of the first half? Well, when Cordell got a turnover, we were happy for him because that was his first interception. But that let the defense know um, everybody got, can have a chance to get a turnover. Hey, Jay, Jeff Nowak, WWO Radio. Um, you know, one thing I asked Ed about, Mississippi State ran 88 plays on offense, CL's 54. You know, when you go into a game knowing, you know, the scheme is going to end up with you guys on the field a lot. You know, do you, does that, is that something you factor in as you're preparing, as you're trying to figure out, okay, my fitness level needs to be up for four quarters, not just the first half? You know, how do you kind of figure that out throughout the course of the game? As a DB, we run a lot, so we have to be in shape. 
to make every play because no telling how, how, uh, how, how long we're going to be running. 